but she is dead. <laughs> Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaye Israel, and today we have a very disturbing, as always, a very disturbing video for you guys. This one's a little sick, and I don't know how anyone could live with themselves after um, doing such things. But today we have uh, a Seattle police officer and union leader is under investigation for laughing and making callous remarks about the death of a woman from India who was struck by a police vehicle um, as she was crossing the street. Officer Adura, if I said his name correctly, Officer Adura, who is the vice president of the Seattle Police uh, Guild, has been under an investigation since accidentally recording himself talking about the deceased woman. This happened in January. So this police officer showed up on scene to investigate the other police officer uh, whose name was actually um, Kevin Dave. He showed up on scene to investigate if Kevin Dave was intoxicated or what was going on. But while leaving the scene, he calls the president of their little club and he begins to laugh and joke and make fun of the deceased woman. Um, if you have seen this video before, um, I don't know how you were able to stomach it because when I watch it, it's, it's extremely sickening. And But these are the people who we have allowed to be in charge of enforcing the laws of this country. This video was sent to me by a viewer and it was previously covered by the YouTube channel Law and Crime. Um, let's take a look at this and always record the police. With that being said, We The People University, signing off. But she is dead. <laughs> Shocking comments now coming to light after a Seattle police officer is caught on body camera video laughing and joking about a woman who was killed by another officer. He can be heard on camera saying she has limited value. Yeah, just write a check. $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. Back in January, 23-year-old Giovanni Candula, an exchange student studying at Northeastern University, was killed when Seattle officer Kevin Dave hit her as she crossed the street. At the time, Dave was heading to a high-priority call, driving 74 miles per hour in a 25 zone. That same evening, Officer Daniel Arderer also arrived to the scene to conduct a drug recognition test on Dave as part of department policy. Otterer did not suspect any impairment on Dave's part. The following day, body camera video captured Otterer on a phone call discussing the incident. Hi, right, brother. Um, I'm sure uh, TCIS is. And I... Uh... Oh, he's good. He says, well, normally we don't give voluntary statements. And I... Uh... I said, hey, you're going to have to decide if you wanted to give a statement or not, but it does not seem like there's a criminal investigation going on. As vice president of the Seattle Police Officers Guild, Otterer was apparently calling the guild's president, Mike Solon. Local news outlets report Otterer's body camera video was inadvertently turned on. Otherwise, there would be other... What's that? Otherwise, there might be other people arriving, correct? Otterer can be heard mentioning Dave's speed, saying he was traveling 50 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Later reports determined he was driving more than 70 miles per hour. He's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. After this, body camera video captures Otterer mentioning logistics about the crash. Initially, uh, he said she was in a crosswalk. Uh, there's a witness that says, no, she wasn't. but. That witness could be different because I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Then he describes what happened to Candula before laughing when he says she's dead. Uh, I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield. Then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> He then refers to the 23-year-old as a, quote, regular person who had limited value. No, it's a regular person. 
Yeah, just write a check. Yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. At that point, Otterer seems to realize the body camera is on and he turns it off. This week, the Seattle Police Department released the body camera recording with an accompanying statement saying the video was, quote, identified in the routine course of business by a department employee who, concerned about the nature of statements heard on that video, appropriately escalated their concerns through their chain of command. It's since been referred to the Office of Police Accountability for an investigation. But according to a report from Seattle radio station KTTH, it was Otterer himself who reported the video. According to a report posted on Monday, Otterer turned himself in for, quote, fears of out-of-context smears. That same report states that Otterer's comments about Kandula's limited value and writing a check were actually made in an effort to mock lawyers. Yeah, just write a check. $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. <laughs>